Hi everybody, welcome to my March 2022 bullet journal setup. Um, you are going to see a lot of headshots today and I apologize for that. I'm working on finding a nice place for my camera. So for this month in March, I decided to do a luxury bag theme <laughs> and I thought I would draw them out. Normally I use my stickers from my shop, but today I decided to hand draw them and color uh, paint them in with my acrylographs. Right now I'm using my gouache, my Liquitex acrylic gouache to paint the leaves and the handbag on the front of the page. So confession time, I wanted this cover page to be a pull tab, <laughs> but the universe disagreed with me as well as physics. And so as a result, it's not so much a pull tab as a flap that you left. <laughs> I definitely didn't account for the weight of the flap with the paint and all that fun stuff on it. So um, yeah, we're just gonna lift this flap and call it a day. <laughs> So my inspiration for this month actually comes from TikTok. I've been watching a lot of the thrifting people and I'm sure if you if I say the words it's Sunday let's get dressed you know what I'm talking about. She's one of my favorite TikTokers and one day she had this stunning sun yellow Louis Vuitton bag and I fell in love with it. Obviously can't afford it but I thought can draw it so <laughs> might not be able to buy it but I can definitely draw a handbag so <laughs> that's the kind of where I got my inspiration for March. I had a lot of fun this month creating this and putting this all together. I'm using as I mentioned Liquitex acrylic gouache paint. I'm using a Princeton size 0 brush as well as a Pigeon Letters round size 2 brush. I have a Masterson Stay Wet paint palette. I actually didn't set it up properly for this. Last time I used it in February, I made it too wet. This time I made it too dry. So in theory, next time it'll be just right. <laughs> but I wanted to use it again because the acrylographs have too small of a tip to cover this much surface area of the page. So I figured I'll do my gouache to begin with and then use my acrylographs for the rest of my layouts. Now, I actually thought I'd be using Tombows for this video, but I struggled matching them. But the acrylographs I found matched closest to my theme. Basically, how I work my process is to draw my images, select my color palette, and then print out the stickers and work based on that. The color palette I chose turns out was very challenging for some reason <laughs> to match colors to, but the acrylographs just were spot on matching it. So um, I decided I would use them and I absolutely love it. So because of the Liquitex set I have, I'm very limited in my colors. So I get to mix them up and try and match as close as I want. The other palette had dried at this point, so I had to kind of start from scratch. And I wanted to include that in the video just so that you could see how I kind of get my colors and match them and mix them. Um, this style, I'm not too worried about ma matching the colors exactly. So that was kind of, that took a lot of pressure off <laughs> for the perfect matching. So um, it was a lot of fun. And then I'm using a three millimeter tip acrylograph for my calligraphy lettering my march. And then outlining the doodles that I've done just to kind of, I like to have it finished off a little bit. And I'm working on the underside of the flap from the handbag flap. <laughs> or what was formerly known as a pull tab. <laughs> After I do my March lettering, I actually went in with the thinner tip and I just tidied up the three millimeter tip a little bit. And this is where you see me trying to figure out how to make the pull tab work. And honestly, time is of the essence for me and I didn't have time to sit and play and redo everything. <laughs> So I just threw perfectionism out the window and said, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> so this is my calendar page. And so far for 2022, I've been having a lot of fun experimenting and playing with some calendar ideas. 
And this one you'll see I end up creating a bit of a Dutch door. And we'll see how it goes. I do like having the extra room to capture things that come up in the next month, my goals for the month, my priorities for the month. So I've decided I'm definitely going to keep including those. So here you can see I've transitioned over to my acrylographs. For the color scheme, I used a forest green, a moth wing, the dusty mint, the dusty rose, and the rose gold from the metallic collection. So as you can hear, I used not just one single set of acrylographs, I used a bunch. And I'm lucky enough to own majority of them. So it's been really great to be able to mix and match as I please. And I think I've mentioned in previous videos, I'll link my video down below where I talk about my favorite things about the acrylographs. But I really enjoy that you can write over top of things and it's still, it's super opaque and, e and easy to use. There's a bit of a learning curve, but once you figure it out, it'll be fine. You'll see later I go in and I outline my, my lettering and my doodles again, just because I like having that line. Obviously you don't have to do that. This month was a little bit different for me since normally I like to go in and add shadows and depth and layers, but I'm playing and experimenting. And so this month I kind of just went with basic shapes and basic coloring and I actually really, really loved it. Um, I love this design and theme so much. I'm actually turning it into a surface pattern design. <laughs> so stay posted because we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and you saw me there put in my Dutch door for my um, for my calendar. I'll be going in. So my to-do list will be on that the front of the flap. And then on the inside, I'm putting in my priorities and then what I have coming up for next month. We're definitely getting busier every month now, so it's become really important that I write stuff down as I keep forgetting. I feel like I've missed multiple appointments in the last couple of weeks, and for a planner, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but, you know, it's life. It happens. For my outlining, I'm using the Tombow Mono Drawing Pens in size 2 and 4. I like this size 2 tip just a little bit more because sometimes I feel like I'm going to snap the um, the one size off. I've definitely done that with multiple microns and so I just trust the two size just a little bit more. On this page I'm creating my notes page and my trackers page. I've gone back to using regular trackers this month instead of my circle tracker. Um, I thought I'd give it a try and see. I do love my circle tracker. I just want it to kind of be on theme. <laughs> so I hand drew in my calendar trackers for this month. I had my daily trackers, as you'll see. And then the top tracker you can faintly see is something that I took from the circle tracker to incorporate into my regular tracker page, which are the monthly items or weekly items and then bi-weekly items. As you can see, the acrylographs take a little bit of time to fill in bigger spaces, but it's just so opaque and it just looks so pretty that I really do love using them. I am an affiliate for Archer and Olive. I will link that down below. My affiliate code is NML10 for 10% off. They are currently, at the time of this video, having a spring cleaning sale where the acrylographs are a little bit discounted, so definitely go and check it out. That's how I ended up building my collection, um, was whenever they went on sale, I would buy some. And that's how I managed to build my collection over time. Honestly, that's how I've built all of my collections over time, my distressing stamps, my stamps in general, my Tombows. I actually, after four years, just completed my Tombow collection 
um, the other day. I ordered the last few pens that I was missing. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I was so excited to use my Tombows, but I just couldn't get the colors to match what I wanted for this layout. It was weird actually, I have the 100 Crayola Super Tip set as well, and I even struggled matching the Crayola Super Tip set to this color palette. So I was a little bit frustrated. <laughs> So <laughs> I was really grateful that the acrylic graphs matched and I didn't have to mix paint for the entire layout. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. I am going to take a minute for some self-promotion. <laughs> I'm really bad at this and so I just I wanted to let you know that I do have a Patreon where I am teaching creative journaling and the various elements of creative journaling. So every month we have a theme or a word that I pick out and we do some lettering based on that word. We do some doodling as well. Um, and then we will learn a technique. We will then do some journaling to get the juices flowing as well as to create kind of a reference guide um, for future creative blocks if they happen to come up and we do some quote lettering just so that I can teach you lettering composition using very simple very easy to understand techniques and basically every month we do that I include some journal prompts I use some of the journal prompts using the techniques and using the lettering and the doodles just so you get an idea of how everything can come together and basically just helping you build a foundation so that you can become more comfortable and confident sharing your creative journal. A lot of this is about accepting your personal style and the more you practice and the more you see what you're capable of, the easier it's going to be and the prouder you are, you're going to be of your work. So I have linked that down below as well. That's over on Patreon. And um, yeah. If you're still here, I'd love it if you could give me a shout out down below <laughs> and just say hi. Um, I decided this month again to go back to just a basic layout. Um, I, honestly, the last couple of months, I haven't been using the Alistair method and I haven't missed it. I feel the way I have it set up right now is not so bad. And I, again, having my goals and priorities front and center for me has become really clutch just so that I can remember. And without having another notebook open, I do have a goal planner, but I don't necessarily want that open on my desk all the time just because of space. I am a messy, messy. <laughs> so um, at least with my bullet journal, it's there, it's open. I can take a look. So I really like having this extra space in my journal to work on what I want to do and for this week I combined the weekend into one block we'll see how that goes but yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here please know that I appreciate all of the support whether it's on Instagram up on YouTube TikTok if you're on my Patreon thank you so much um all of it just means so much to me and if you have any questions or comments let me know down below I also would love to hear what you are doing for March so let me know if you would consider doing luxury handbags as a theme and also if you can recognize the luxury handbags I have drawn and where I drew my inspiration from so thank you so much for watching today make sure to stay through to the end where I share a flip through of my layout